Hey everyone, FPS Chazel here. So there are some bugs with this mission. They're they're overcomable, but not through really playing the mission itself. I guess you could do it potentially, but uh, let me let me just go over the first bug. The first bug here is that uh, as soon as I was sending the seals away, I should have gotten a radio message telling me intel about the cargo ship to sink, and that radio message is if I come over here, I'm looking at the mission file in a text document. Okay, so this is the the radio message you are supposed to get says three cargo ships are currently anchored in Wakanai Harbor. Target is facing east and is located at 45 dash 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 incomplete transmission. So we didn't get that, um, which is fine. The target facing east is the important part. So let's come over here to the mission editor. I'm going to show you why target facing east is an issue. And that is because here's your here's your three cargo ships. So if you guys aren't used to mission mission editing, I'll give you a quick rundown. This box right here signifies a random spawn area. So that means these cargo ships. There's as you can see, there's like three here. Each one of these cargo ships has one that's roughly the same size. So that means they're all gonna spawn in this somewhere in this random area, anywhere in here, random chance. If you zoom in. What we're seeing here is don't mind these. These are just uh, like objective things to tell you if you've sunk the right ship. This is what we care about. These are transit waypoints. So basically what this is doing, this cargo ship is going to go here. This cargo ship is going to go here. This cargo ship is going to go here. They have a speed of zero knots. So you're basically just setting a course for them. You do this because there's no, you don't really set a course here. All you do is set like a waypoint. You just tell it where to go. You don't actually set like you can't just set a, a ship to do a speeding course. It has to be going somewhere. So now that there's that now that, now that should work, right? There shouldn't be any problem with that. The problem with that is that these waypoints are absolute. As in, if you move the ship around, the waypoint stays in the same place as I will show thusly. As you can see, the cargo ship is moving around, but it's always pointing towards the same waypoint. So once you spread that out to a big little area like this and you spread all these ships out they all end up basically pointing towards the same point so there is no ship that's facing east this one is facing west and this is the ship you're supposed to kill and this one is facing the most easterly and it's not the one you're supposed to kill so that's another error so when we play when we play i i tried recording the mission and i sunk the wrong ship because i sunk the one that was, you know, it was one of these two was over on this side, was over on this side, so it was facing east. Uh, this is an easily fixable bug. If you put this waypoint very far over that way, it'll always be facing east or west or whatever, so that's that's not a big issue to, to, to fix there. Uh, yeah, if you put this, if this is always over here, then if you move this random spawn around, it's always, you know, kind of pointing westerly, so that's not a big bug to fix, but... I'll have to fix that later and not in this current run through of the mission. So thankfully these two ships have one hull number as denoted by name over here. And then this one has a different hull, a uh, different hull name. So I can go ahead and figure out which is the one to sink. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to try and actually clean these up and I'll, I'll release this map at some point when it's actually working. So you guys can enjoy that. But for now, let's get back to the mission. Alrighty, back in the mission here. Uh, I guess we can we can secure from snorkeling now. Cease ventilation process. Uh, I wonder if as as soon as you start ventilating, does that give you another plus ten percent that you can get underwater? Let's see. I would be curious to know that. So I just looked at the truth, and this is in fact the one that we are interested in. So I'm not sure if that Abu Kuma radar set was this thing, or what was going on with that. I don't know, but. If I had gone with this one, we would have gotten it, so we will move into firing position. I mean, we could shoot now if we wanted to. Uh, the thing isn't going to move. I, I tried this mission already a little bit earlier, like two days ago, and Go to depth as soon as I got zero, this mission incomplete, two, nine, from meter, I went for this one, which is the wrong one, and it just angered me so, so I decided to, like, I was like, screw it, and just, like, dipped out of there. <laughs> it was like an angsty teenager. I was like, I got time for this crap. Uh, which one was this? This was uh, EO6. Man, none of this stuff is really pointing to like a nice little neat wherever. What, what What's the range on it right now? 7,600 meters? Okay. I mean, it's it's there. 
that's where it is. That's that's it's that's, that's that's good enough for our purposes. It doesn't have to be within you know three inches for us to get a hit here. So that is good. Alrighty. Not sure how close I'm going to get. We don't need to get too close. Probably here is good. We'll aim for this little curse smudgeon right here. What do we got? We got uh, an hour and fifty until we got to be out of here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and up it. Then. Engines ahead, two thirds, steering guy. I'm gonna move in here. Coming a little closer. And, uh, ooh, hello. Yeah, we're starting to get the ship on, um... These look fainter than normal. Why is that? They look fainter than normal. Aren't they usually brighter than that? What's going on with that? That's weird. Hmm. I don't know. That's odd. They're usually not that faint. But, I mean, I can still see it. That's not a problem. I'm just wondering why they're so faint. That's weird. But, yeah, this is our cargo ship on that bearing right there. So, we're coming in hot 13 minutes. I'm just going to 16 times it up here. We're just going to keep a close watch on what's going on. We're not expecting any problem. Picking up another another cargo ship on the sonar there. We can drop it down to just four times while I prime these tubes. What tubes do we want here? We'll do uh, tube four and three. And this guy here, internal, tubes four and three, run to enable 44, I'll probably be turning them on manually. Depth, shallow, is good. Everything else about that is fine. Shallow is good, everything else about that is fine. Get these tubes ready in all respects. Cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Hopefully we get this, this radio message when uh, this thing is sunk. We're supposed to get another one when this thing is sunk, telling us that we uh, we sunk it and where to pick up our boys. But if not, I can do the same thing I did for the first radio message there. It's not a big deal, but I hope we get that message. I don't know why it's glitching out. I was looking through it, looking at the logic for it, and uh, it shouldn't have been glitching out. It was fine. I guess I didn't even have the doors open just yet, but we'll, we'll just go for it. All right, this is, this is fine here. We don't need to be getting any closer. These guys aren't going anywhere. Three nautical miles. Very good. We can do it the old-fashioned way, you know, keep the uh, the scope up here. <laughs> Go to depth zero. Do a little Engines attack zero run. Steering depth guy. control I. Alrighty. Yeah, we're getting up there. Alright, we are getting up there. Let's get that scope up. Uh, first, are these tubes all prepped and ready to rock? Yes, they are. Let's get them out the door. Fire. Launch tube four. Yes, the Capitan. Put a little stagger on them so they don't... I've never seen torps blow each other up, but ever since yes, missiles Capitan, started, acoustics. ever since I realized missiles starting doing that, just kind of do it for everything. What is our range acoustics. to target right now? Is running normally. Okay, they would turn on by themselves. I'll probably turn them on myself at some point here. Uh, bearing, bearing sit, bearing to target one six zero. Where are my torps running at? Yeah, come, come port a little bit here. Thank you. Uh, probably got to come and port a little bit more because they're a little further further down there, you know, geometry and all that stuff. Okay, what are we, we're looking at 160 here. Getting some ESM hits, but these guys also have radar transmitting, so it's not, not the big deal. Okay, we can sneak around with that guy running amok. Running amok. No signs of movement? Very well. What about these other guys? What are they up to? There's one over there, he's just sitting. As you can see, they, as, as I mentioned, they're all kind of pointing towards that center area. So, I don't... I, I looked at the, the mission in Subcommand, too, because this is a Subcommand mission, and the same thing was happening there. It's like, WTF Sonalists. It's like, you guys designed how these systems work. You guys should know that. Didn't even play test your own mission. Like, I was wondering if the waypoints had a different functionality in Subcommand, but no, they work the same. They're absolute. They don't move around with the ship if you move the ship around in like a random spawn box, so. Yeah, that, that was kind of frustrating. That was indeed very frustrating. But uh easy enough to fix. Easy enough. If I, I didn't show it in full before because of um well, let's turn these things on. Or let's not miss I I can explain it after they hit. <laughs> um I just want to make sure they turn on without snaking unnecessarily or something like that. Burn a barrel. Burn a barrel. 
They might turn on by themselves any second here, but I'm not going to already skip. We're going to go for it. They got a big old broadside target to go for. Okay, they're heading in. So, yeah. Those ships with their starting waypoints, if you just stretch them out like all the way here and all the way there, it doesn't matter where they spawn in there. They're always going to be facing that almost that exact same direction just because of how far away that uh the thing is. So let's let's finish watching in the scope here. They're going a little more to starboard, and that's fine. Um, the solution was just a little bit off, which is not a big deal. It's harder to be more precise about it when you see a broadside because you can mark and like. I think it lets you mark in different spaces on the ship. It doesn't automatically put the LOB like down the center there. Ooh, explosion. yeah, look at that. Bearing one six Yum. zero. Control acoustics. Tube four wire has been cut. Control acoustics. Loud explosion. Bearing. We still one, have one more torque coming nine. in. Control acoustics. Tube three wire has been cut. Oh, there you go. Okay, it wasn't scrolling all the way down. Is that thing still alive? No, it's dead. Good. And we did not get the mission incomplete, so we are good to go. <laughs> let's uh, let's raise up this radio mast and see if we get anything here. Start heading this vicinity. We can drop this bad boy. Uh, are we gonna get a radio message about our boys? Are we gonna get a radio message? I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like it. We're getting Link. The radio message should have come through, but we're not getting it. Is the passing of time going to help? Does not seem to be. Uh, let's close these doors. Close these bad boys. Get just EGSTs up in them. That's good. Okay, stop. Just do it at normal speed. Oh, am I out of UGSTs? Wow. Okay. I didn't realize I packed so few. Why does it always seem like I'm getting caught off guard with my stores? I don't know. Why did I... I, I why did I bring... Uh, well, because I didn't know what the mission was going to entail at first. I brought a lot of squalls. But that's fine. We got our target. There's no radio message so far. And that is annoying. I will check the mission file. <laughs> okay. Recover commando team at 4534 north, 14154 east. So let me go ahead and put that on the map here. Where are we going? 4534 north. Uh, 141.54 east. That's where we're going. That's where our boys are. Coolio. No radio message. This mission's bugging out. It's kind of annoying, but it's not a big deal. We're having fun. But the mission is bugging out. We have an hour and a half to finish this mission. And we will be at this... Uh, let me put this waypoint like slightly off here so I can grab it. An hour and a half. Okay. So we cannot crawl around at one at one third here. We gotta... Don't do that. <laughs> wrong wrong scene. Engines ahead I'll two head two thirds. Gonna be making two thirds for this point here. Of it or will. Got the two other cargo ships going on here. Oh, start your timer, boy. Got the two other crew, the cargo ships just chilling. They're probably not even doing anything. Probably just sitting there, like a bunch of dummies. We can drop the oh, what? My key hand is off center, off kelter. That's good. This torp is still going. <laughs> uh, so there are our boys out there, kind of close to where they came in actually, which is fun. It's interesting. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Engines ahead and let's go to periscope guy. depth. I want to check the ESM here. Never get the depth. Go to depth. Cool. Zero, two, zero meters. See the, depth what the Christmas tree is looking like here, if this is a light. Let's see if we're going to get our radio message now as well. I'm not sure why those aren't coming through. I didn't play test it enough in sub command to see if those radio messages came through, but it seems like this mission was kind of just thrown together without really play testing it. There's our two cargo ships, and there is our fishing boat. I have a new contact bearing SSR. Two, seven, seven. I'm not sure if that's the radar name or if it's supposed to be like this is your, uh, you know, fishing boat that has a military radar set or something like that. I don't know. That's just a reciprocal for our cargo boat. That's not our fishing boat or whatever. Okay. Anything else here on the ESM? 
I don't think so. Nope, that's it. And nothing from the radio still. So I have a feeling things are actually... I have a feeling things are going well, but we're just not getting radio messages for whatever reason. And we're supposed to be getting radio messages. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll make depth for three, three zero meters. Three zero meters. Depth control I. How do you say 30 in Russian again? I don't remember. We're not going to try and think about that right now. It's too much going on. Engines ahead two thirds. Steering eye. Let us continue making for the pickup point. We got some uh, some time here to, to make up. 45 minutes. 21.45. That's still kind of pushing it. We're going to go a little faster than that. We're going to go for 12 knots here. Sit revolutions for 12 knots. Propulsion I. Uh, we're going to be going through some shallows. Oh, it's about to get shallower before it gets better. Yeah, it's getting really shallow. Let's get a little. Sh let it's getting really shallow here. Let's get a little. Uh, Zero, two, a little shallower two, ourselves here. Control, I. Getting a little close to the bottom. Control acoustics. Yeah, we are, are cavitating. That's fine. We need. We gotta. We gotta get to this point. Once we pass over this little hump, we can get back down to three zero meters here. But we're getting. We were getting kind of close to the bottom. A little closer than is necessary. Unnecessary risk. Toad is on washout. We're getting washed out around 11 or 12 knots, which is better than sub command, but still not really that good of a washout there. Um, it looks clear though. I mean, I'm not going to see someone unless they're right up on me. How much the water's washed out? Okay, we can go back down to three zero meters now. Go to depth. We zero lose our cavitation. We have stopped depth control I. Very well. Uh, let's try and do. Th what is one three knots going to make us cavitate? For thirteen knots, propulsion I. One three is fine. Sixteen minutes. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, but we'll we'll, we'll we'll juice it up now when we know we have some clear clear water. Knots, propulsion I. Or at least when we assume we know we have some clear water. One four knots here. Turning and burning. We're making some making some noise here. All right, ten minutes to go. Very well. Uh, let's uh, come out of hyperdrive for a second here. Ahead one third, steering guy. See if anything's around. Nope, looks pretty good. Let's go back to one. We'll do one five knots. Set revolutions. Control roll acoustics. Knots. We are cavitating. I. Yeah, but we are cavitating, ain't we? Now we're just trying to get over here. I'm trying to get up here real quick, because we got once we get there, we still got to pick up the special forces. Uh, we're gonna bring the toad back in here shortly. Um. Okay, we're just about on top of them. Let's come out of hyperdrive now. Engines ahead one third, steering guy. Start reeling this toad in at the same time. We should still have enough acuity on it when we come out of our acuity loss range to see if there's anything around. It looks pretty clear. We look good. All right, let's go to uh, it's a depth for per per the periscope depth. Uh, do, 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 do. Go, go to periscope to depth. depth. Zero, two, zero meters. Depth control. Go I. ahead and speed up time here. Let's raise up the scope. We should be seeing ourselves some special forces hanging out out here somewhere. Go ahead and pick them up. I think we just got to get in their proximity and just hang out there until they get on board. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. Where are they? I don't want to zoom out too far for fear that I'll miss them. But on the other hand, I don't want to zoom in too much because otherwise it's going to take forever. All right, where are they? Oh, it'd be nice if there was land to like silhouette them again so I could take a look. Uh, or better potentially spot them. Hmm. Where are they? We, I think we've already swept around 180 deg or 360 degrees here with nothing to be seen. Hmm. Okay. Steer course zero, four, nine. Let's do two knots here. Set revolutions for two And we are going knots. to Propulsion do I. a little sneakiness. We're going to expose our sail. So let's go to one seven meters here. Let's try 1 8 at first. I don't want to surface. Go to depth, zero, one, eight but we are going to depth expose our height. sail here. Try and hop up on top of it and see if we can't see anything. Uh, keep going a little shallower. Let's try 1 6 meters. 
Go to depth zero one six meters. That might be depth sufficient control, to get our sail a, a little exposed here. Yep, that's good. Okay. Yes, this is sketchy because they're potentially getting radar off us, but I want to try and see my boys here. Where are they at? I am not seeing anything. Okay. This is where they are supposed to be, but I'm not seeing a thing. Hmm. Well, that's no good. That is no good indeed. Okay. Well, we're going to have to figure that out next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys then. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting.